Good morning. Thank you for joining us for the special conferring of degrees for the John Carroll University Class of 2020. The invocation will be given by Serene Dana Nasrallah, member of the Class of 2020. Ms. Nasrallah. Let us close our eyes and center ourselves. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful, praise be to God, the creator of the universe. Thank you, God, for blessing us and joining us during this difficult time in celebration of all our accomplishments. We ask you to humble us as we are able to celebrate the knowledge we obtained over these years, as well as the knowledge we will gain in our future. We are grateful for our time here at John Carroll, for the faculty and staff, for forever friends, and for our families who have all supported us and guided us to who we have become and where we are today. Bless us as we pursue our dreams and achieve our goals to become who we are called to be. Empower us with the courage to move beyond the fear and doubt and the strength to care for all people as men and women for others. Grace us with the compassion, humility, generosity, and gratitude as we move on to this next stage of our lives and become your instruments in the world. May we lead the way to peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Serene. Dr. Michael Johnson, president of the university, will now give greetings and offer remarks for the class of 2020. Dr. Johnson. Thank you, Dr. Herbert. To the class of 2020, congratulations. Today, we rejoice in your accomplishments and look ahead to your bright futures. You have every right to be proud of what you have achieved. Today is a special day. In a few minutes, your John Carroll University degree will be conferred. This means more than a line on your resume. It is a rite of passion, a day that you will live forever in your memory, a moment you will call fondly with your family and friends. We must acknowledge that it is also a strange day. To put it in the simplest terms, we miss you. None of us expected your time as a student at John Carroll would end this way. We are forced to trade a stage on the quad for a computer screen at your house to celebrate you. We look forward to the day when we can properly acknowledge the class of 2020 in person, on campus, together as a community. I invite you to take a moment to appreciate how you have grown since you chose John Carroll. What challenges did you overcome? What did you learn about yourself? And how are you prepared to change the world? Because you are graduating from a Jesuit university, much is expected of you. If we use our 44,000 alumni as an example, many of you will become executives, leaders, champions, and ambassadors. But you will also become, and in so many cases already are, advocates for change and a voice for the voiceless, driven by the Jesuit value of magis, meaning more. Tomorrow, you will enter a divisive world. As a, as a society, we often rush to condemn rather than to listen and collaborate. Long-standing economic differences and access to resources are fueling underlying health conditions, crowding living spaces, and limiting work opportunities. The coronavirus pandemic has only exacerbated the racial and economic divides in the health of our nation. We face challenges today that our country has not seen since World War II. Anxious as these times may be, there is so much to be hopeful about. As a graduate of John Carroll University, you are equipped with the ability to listen, to discern, to think, and to act. You are prepared to be agents of change who will offer a valuable perspective in your careers, in your communities, and in your families. You are ready to bring people together, to foster dialogue, and to make a positive influence on the trajectory of our society. No matter where you live and where you work, Jesuit educated leaders are more vital than ever before. A John Carroll education has prepared you to face a world full of challenges. What you have experienced in the last two months will shape you and make you stronger as you pursue your dreams. 
Use this time to build your networks, personally and professionally. Use this time to pivot, to try something new, to look at options. Remain agile and learn to adjust to uncertainty as it comes your way. I implore you to continue to serve your communities, advocate for the marginalized, facilitate positive change, and remain men and women for and with others. I also ask you to take a moment right now to turn to your family and offer them your thanks and appreciation for their support along the way. Certainly there are many people who have guided you on this quest. Call them, text them, and make sure they understand the impact they have made on you. Class of 2020, we are proud of you. We support you and we thank you for leaving your mark on John Carroll. You are tomorrow's agents of change. Now go forth and set the world on fire. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. In honor of the late Reverend William J. Malore of the Society of Jesus, who served the university in a variety of posts for 28 years before his death in 1977. A committee of faculty administrators and students have designated a member of the senior class to make a presentation at these exercises. Speaking on behalf of the class is Corey D. Beam. Mr. Beam. Thank you, Dr. Herbert. Dr. Johnson, thank you uh, for your remarks as well. Uh, this obviously is not how I thought I would be able to address all of you today. Like many, I was excited to represent all of you as the Malore Orator in person, an honor that I absolutely hold in the highest regard. Yet, here we are, graduating via video conference while so many before us had the opportunity to receive their diploma in hand and embrace those members of the John Carroll community, which they love so dearly in person. These are strange times that we find ourselves in. It is no secret that the world as we know it today is not the world we knew two months ago. Just as the cold Cleveland weather began to turn to spring and our fellow JCU students were enjoying the Northeast Ohio sun on the quad, a pandemic struck and with it, severe uncertainty. The effects of the coronavirus are very obvious in some sickness, disease, and unfortunately for some, even death. The virus's effects on others can in fact be harder to see. Loneliness, joblessness, a lost sense of worth and dignity, and depression. A once ripe job market now finds 36 million Americans unemployed, and thousands of college graduates are now caught in the crossfire of economic uncertainty and a medical catastrophe. Lines for food pantries in my soon-to-be home of Dallas, Texas, stretch miles long, as once-functioning adults now must depend on the generosity of others for their next meal. It is fair to say that an observer of our current condition would have a much easier time finding more wrong with the world than right. As we drive on from the status of undergraduate student into adulthood, we are faced with the typical new challenges that all new college graduates have faced before us. These are exacerbated, however, by the world's current condition. Even though we face great hardship, I am heartened by the ability of many of us to adapt and to overcome. Local business owners here in Taze Valley, West Virginia, are showcasing their store inventory via Facebook Live videos. And restaurants are going back to an old way of doing business by acting as convenient marketplaces where they sell their raw ingredients and finished meals alike. Throughout history, America has been the world's overachievers. Our ancestors faced dire issues and problems. And as opposed to becoming the victims of their circumstances, they became problem solvers and heroes. Even more recently, some of the innovations that we take for granted today got their start in the 2008 financial crisis. Being graduates of John Carroll, we have every ability to be part of the adapting society that will prevail from the corona pandemic stronger than it ever has before. During our time at JCU, we learned more important things than what you might find in an average textbook. We learned how to respect the dignity 
of every human person, to be men and women for and with others, and to treat people with respect. We learned people skills necessary to weather the uncertainty that we now face. We also learned how to think differently, to assess the world, not through our own lens, but through the lens of others. And we learned to sympathize and empathize with folks who might not look like us or talk like us. John Carroll graduates have an innate ability to see the good in people and selflessly serving others is an instinctual quality for a John Carroll student. In these trying times, we must adapt to the world around us and recognize that there is opportunity abound for us newly minted JCU graduates to make a real difference in the world and to make other people's lives better. At the beginning of the semester, I challenged the members of the Army ROTC Wolfpack Battalion to take ownership of not only their own success, but the success of the organization as a whole. I will offer the same challenge to all of you today. Take ownership of the things which you can control, your effort, your attitude, your empathy towards others and the way that you treat other people are all things that we have the ability to control every single day. Be a light in the world, a shining smile or a kind laugh. There are many people in our midst who are pessimistic about our future. Try and lift these people up. You all have been blessed by the creator with unique gifts and talents. Do not let these gifts and talents go unnoticed. Share them with the world. Take ownership, not just of who you are, but the world around you. A kind gesture to see how a neighbor or a friend is doing can move mountains. Remember this, however, the world owes you nothing. And in the words of the late great Don Shula, success isn't forever and failure isn't final. Keep striving to be the best you can be every day. Be a man or a woman for and with others. Take ownership of the things that you can control. Many great men and women have faced challenges greater than the ones that we currently face today. You can choose to let it overcome you and let the year 2020 define you for the rest of your life. Or you can take ownership of who you are and what you are and become a better person by doing so, creating a better world. I know John Carroll has prepared this class of 2020 to stare down the greatest challenges that the world has to offer and to achieve success in the right way. I'm eternally grateful for the experiences that I've had as a student at John Carroll University, and I know the relationships that I made at JCU will endure for a lifetime. Take ownership, respect all people, and in the words of Dr. Johnson, set the world on fire. Thank you. Thank you, Corey, for those wonderful remarks. William P. Donnelly, Chair of the John Carroll University Board of Directors and graduate of the class of 1983, will give remarks on behalf of the university's governing body. Mr. Donnelly. Thank you, Dr. Herbert. Greetings to all on behalf of the Board of Directors of John Carroll University. The goodness of John Carroll is personified by its graduates. JCU alumni are known for being intellectually competent, open to growth and entrepreneurship, religious, loving, and committed to doing justice. I see these qualities in my wife, Sue, a graduate of the class of 84. I see it in my two children, Conant and Grace, members of the class of 2010 and 2016. And I see it in my many classmates and my many business colleagues from John Carroll. John Carroll alumni are leaders concerned about society and the world in which we live. That is why I continue to serve in a leadership role with the Board of Directors and why I feel privileged to work closely with Dr. Johnson to ensure the prosperity of our alma mater for decades to come. The Board of Directors is vested with the management and control of the affairs, activities, properties, and funds of the university. Therefore, pursuant to Article 2, Section 2.1 of the University Code of Regulations, I am pleased to confirm that the candidates for the graduating class of 2020 have been recommended by the faculty, 
certified by the deans and approved by the provost and academic vice president as having satisfied all of the requirements for those degrees. In accordance with this stated authority granted by the Board of Directors, I hereby authorize the president to confer degrees for the academic year as of Sunday, May 17th, 2020. Your degree is now credentialed that you have completed all degree requirements for a specific program of study at John Carroll University. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Go forth and set the world on fire. Thank you, Bill. Dr. Peter Kavidra, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, will now present the candidates for degrees of Education Specialist, Master of Arts, Masters of Education, and Master of Science. Dr. Pete Kavidra. Mr. St. Johnson, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I certify that the candidates whose names have been submitted have satisfied all of John Carroll University's degree requirements. I ask that those who have completed all degree requirements be hereby granted their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the University, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degrees of Education Specialist, Master of Arts, Master of Education, and Master of Science with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. Congratulations to all of the graduates of the graduate programs of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Alan Mikiak, Dean of the John M. and Mary J. Bowler College of Business, will now present the candidates for degrees of Masters of Business Administration and Master of Science. Dean Mikiak. President Johnson, on behalf of the faculty of the Bowler College of Business, I certify that the cancer's name has been submitted as by all of John Carroll University's degree requirements. I ask those who have completed all your requirements hereby and their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the University, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degrees of Master of Business Administration and Master of Science with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining.
Congratulations to all the graduates of graduate programs in the Bowler College of Business. Dr. Peter Kavidra, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, will now present the candidates for degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Classics, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Science. Dean Kavidra. President Johnson, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I certify that the candidates whose names have been submitted have satisfied all of John Carroll University's degree requirements. I ask that those who have completed all degree requirements be hereby granted their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the University, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degrees of Bachelor of Arts in Classics, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Science, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining.
Congratulations to all the graduates of the College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Alan Mikiak, Dean of the John M. and Mary J. Bowler College of Business, will now present the candidates for degrees of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and Bachelor of Science in Economics. Dean Mikiak. President Johnson, on behalf of the faculty of the Bowler College of Business, I certify that the candidates' names have been submitted as by all John Carroll universities in the US. I ask that who have completed all the requirements be hereby granted their degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the University, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degrees of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration and Bachelor of Science in Economics with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. Congratulations to all the graduates of the Bowler College of Business. Dr. Johnson will now present the faculty and student awards. Congratulations to the scholars of the university and the newly commissioned United States Army Second Lieutenants, which includes our own Corey Bean. The graduates of the Honors Arupe Leadership and Reserved Officer Training Corps programs are exemplary leaders among John Carroll students. They will no doubt go on to do great things in their communities. I would also like to recognize the Silver Circle, members of the faculty who have served the university community for 25 or more years. They include Dr. Richard Clark, Dr. Enrique Luengo, Dr. Patrick Mooney, Dr. Daniel Palmer, Dr. Walter Simmons, Dr. Earl Spurgeon, Dr. John Yost, and Dr. Sherry Young. The recipient of the Distinguished Faculty Award this year is Dr. Rebecca Dronofsky, Professor of Biology and Associate Dean for Graduate and Professional Programs. This year's recipient of the Lucrezia Cuccia Award for Teaching Excellence is Dr. Colin Swearingen, Associate Professor of Political Science. The Wasmer Outstanding Teacher Award this year is 
Dr. Lindsay Noble Calkins, Associate Professor in the Department of Economics and Finance. The 2020 winner of the Curtis W. Miles Award uh, for Community Service is Dr. Deborah J. Rosenthal, Professor of English. This year's outstanding part-time faculty members are Dr. Nan Nancy J. Conradi of the Department of Classical and Modern Languages and Dr. Heinrich Hellwig of the Department of Philosophy. In honor of the late Robert Boudry, class of 1950, a plaque is annually awarded to the student who has contributed most significantly in the areas of academic achievement, Christian life, and leadership and service to the university or civic community during the preceding school year. The recipient of the award this year is Brendan Anthony Sieber. Congratulations to all of our award winners and thank you all for all you do for John Carroll. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. At this time, I'm pleased to call upon Mr. Calvin Michael Shimura, member of the class of 2020, to give the benediction. Mr. Shimura. Thank you, God, for the gift of John Carroll. Thank you for your limitless love and the countless graces we have received during our time as John Carroll students. Thank you for the love we have received through our families, the faculty, staff, and fellow students which enabled us to grow into the people we have become. All we have and call our own comes from you. As our time at John Carroll comes to an end, please continue to remind us that you will always be with us, that we are never alone, even as we remain at home in these days. Help us to recognize the ways that we can change our world, remain committed to justice in our communities, and continue to be women and men for and with others. It is in this way that we can radiate joy and move forward with love. Lord, please allow our hearts to remain open, filled with love and on fire for you. Help us remember to pay attention to your nudges and to continually choose the path that leads us towards you. This we ask as we ask all things in your name, amen. Thank you, Calvin. This concludes our virtual conferring of degree celebration. Congratulations to all of the class of 2020. We'd like to thank you for joining us for this unique ceremony this morning. We hope to see you at some time to celebrate in person. May God bless all of our graduates, their families, and the entire John Carroll community. <laughs>